Good morning, everyone. This is Harold Lambos Pissuros, senior analyst at IronFX, bringing you the morning comment for the 4th of uh, July. The Reserve Bank of Australia left its uh, cash rate unchanged at 1.5% today. In the statement accompanying the decision, the bank stated that uh, indicators of the labor market remain uh, mixed. It acknowledged uh, that employment growth has been stronger over uh, the recent months, but it uh, expressed concerns with regards to wage growth. Aussie dollar came under selling interest at the time of uh, the release, as uh, the bank was not as upbeat as expected following the latest two stellar employment reports. The pair fell after it hit resistance at 0.7680 uh, to break below the support now turned into resistance of 0.8635. Nevertheless, the slide was stopped by the short-term uptrend line taken from the low of the 2nd of uh, June. In our view, a clear break below that line is needed before we get confident on further downside extensions. Something like that is possible to pave the way for our next support obstacle of uh, 0.7580. Looking forward, we expect the bank to, ma to maintain a balanced tone in the months to come and try not to tip the scale in any direction. Given, uh, given that the quick uh, cuts in, 2000, in 2016 reignited the housing market, we believe that officials will be reluctant to lower rates in uh, coming months as concerns of uh, potential financial stability risks may prevail again. On the other hand, the prospect of an extended period of uh, labor market slack and inflation weakness are far from uh, favoring a hike. Overall, bearing in mind the latest uh, hoggish signals from uh, several G10 central banks like the ECB, the Bank of England and the Bank of Canada, we expect the Aussie to underperform against uh, their, their uh, respective currencies. We would avoid to exploit any further Aussie weakness against uh, the US dollar, given, inv given investors' expectations that uh, the Fed may not proceed with another rate increase uh, this year. We see Eurozia as a better proxy, given that the common currency has been uh, supported by the latest ECB hints that uh, the era of ultra-loose monetary policy is uh, probably behind us. Now, during the European day, the central bank torch was uh, passed uh, to the Riksbank. The world's uh, oldest uh, central bank kept its policy unchanged as expected. Nevertheless, it kept the door open for further easing in the period ahead, although it noted that the likelihood for such an action is now less uh, likely than uh, previously. SEC declined at the time of the decision as uh, the bank uh, disappointed those who were expecting it to follow in uh, the recent fo footsteps of the Norges Bank and the ECB by also removing its interest rate easing bias. Now, as for the rest of uh, today's events, in the UK, the construction PMI for June is due out. Expectations are for the index to have slid to 55 uh, from uh, 56 in the previous month. The manufacturing PMI for uh, this month fell by more than anticipated, enhancing uh, the case for the construction index to, to follow suit and perhaps decline by more than it is uh, forecasted. Something like that could uh, pour some cold water on expectations regarding a Bank of England rate hike uh, at one of its upcoming meetings. From Eurozone, we get uh, PPI data for May and expectations are for the rate to have declined. Besides the RBA and uh, Riksbank and governors uh, Philip Lowe and Stefan Inkves, we have two more speakers uh, scheduled uh, during, uh, today, during the day. ECB executive uh, board members Peter Pride. Peter Pride and uh, Yves uh, Mersh. For more information, please read the full comment on ironfx.com or download our app and get all the information you need to trade. Also, you can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Harlambos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at IronFX, wishing you solid trading.